Hello. Well, here it is, guys. Here's the project I told you about. This is my summer project. Actually, I got a lot of summer projects, but this will be one of them. It's gonna, definitely going to be a fun one, for sure. It's a 1991 Cadillac Brougham, and it has the 5.7 liter V8. But as you can see, it definitely does not meet standard. Starting with this body damage here, Need to replace a fender, a few other things. And I got under the car last night, checked out all the suspension parts, and everything's actually okay except for one tie rod. So I'll be replacing that as well. Steering box is okay, everything else is good as far as the suspension goes and everything. Springs don't sag. Darn, this car's big. Sure, like those 90 and 92 refreshed front ends. Headlights look a lot better. Take a good look at this engine because it's the last time you're going to see it this way. I was actually quite pleased to see it had the 5.7 V8 in it. I didn't want the 5.0305. This is a much more powerful motor, a lot more pick up and go. That's a throttle body injection. 5.7 liter V8, 350. Looks like it even says fuel injection here. Man, it's so dusty I didn't even see that. Fuel injection. That's going to look nice cleaned up. has a power antenna and that does go up when the radio's on. I know what I'm going to put there. I'm going to put a big Cadillac plaque there. And there's no buzzer in here. Has a nice chime. Power everything. Seats are all power. It all works, no problems. And the passenger has all power seats as well. Same as the driver. Leather door panels with uh, it stitched in where it says Broham. And Broham again there. And Broham again there. Definitely won't forget it's a Broham, and it sure feels like it. And there's in very good condition. No sags, no tears, no stains. Leather is in very, very good condition. No tears. It's not faded, not cracked. Carpeting is not torn, it's just really dirty. And if you happen to forget you were in a brougham, it'll remind you on the way out. Opera lights. And even this keyhole on both sides lights up. These doors are heavy, very, very solid. Sure is a long ways from the back to the front. This car feels huge. Little little limousine window back here. Defroster, third brake light. And I wonder if these lights work. Let's find out. I doubt it. Oh, it does. Cool. And Broham again there. And on the other door. Let's check the trunk. 
has a power trunk. There's the hubcaps, they're missing. Cool, free jack. No other body damage except for minor details. But one feature I thought was kind of cool has a telescoping telescoping steering wheel. It's a nice touch. The guy who owned it before actually saw when he got the car. He had he was the second owner. I'm now the third owner of this car. And the first owner apparently took really good care of it because when he got it. I looked at it and the car was near mint, but it fell into the hands of a guy who owned it for about a year and a half to two years at the most, which is the guy I bought it from. And uh, he's a guy that did very infrequent oil changes or any other fluids, doesn't know anything about washing the car, probably never did, and this car never saw a wax job either. And uh, just a real neglectful person. So take a good look overall, the whole car because you're not going to see it in this condition anymore. This is completely untouched just the way I got it. But I'll be making a lot of progress videos of everything I do to it over time. So stay tuned for more videos of it coming up soon. I'm taking off to Los Angeles actually this coming Thursday on the 14th. be gone for about three days. So if I don't respond to messages around that time, that's why. But I'll be logging in anyways. I'll have my laptop with me. So, comment, rate, subscribe. See you later.